We previously introduced rotations in the plane as a matrix operation. Link in the description to that lesson. Today we'll get some practice using matrix multiplication to find the image of this vector in R squared when it's rotated about the origin through an angle of 45 degrees, 90 degrees, negative 30 degrees, and 135 degrees. You can see I've already set us up in each problem. We're going to have the standard matrix for the matrix transformation of rotation, and we're going to multiply it by the vector in question for negative 2. A few things will obviously be useful here. Firstly, the standard matrix for a counterclockwise rotation about the origin through an angle of theta. That's seen here, which we talked about in a previous lesson. Ideally, you have the unit circle memorized, but if you don't, obviously you're going to need that, and here that is for our reference. So let's go ahead and use this information to complete the first problem. First, we need to write the standard matrix for a rotation of 45 degrees. You might remember 45 degrees as that nice place where sine and cosine are equal, root 2 over 2. So the entire standard matrix is just going to be root 2 over 2, except this second entry in row 1 is going to be negative. All right, here is our standard matrix of root 2s over 2. Let's go ahead and perform the multiplication to rotate this vector. First, we'll have this row matched up with this column. Now, root 2 over 2 times 4 is going to be 2 root 2. So we will have 2 root 2. And then we'll have negative root 2 over 2 times negative 2, which is going to be positive root 2. So plus root 2. And why don't we just simplify this right away to 3 root 2. Then the second row will get matched up with the first column here. And that's going to be the same as what we just had, except the second root 2 is going to be negative because root 2 over 2 multiplied by negative 2, that is negative root 2. Again, we might as well just go ahead and simplify that. 2 root 2 minus root 2 is just a single root 2. So we have the transformation. It's 3 root 2 root 2. Next, let's carry out a rotation of 90 degrees. You probably recall that at pi over 2, we have that cosine is 0 and sine is 1. So the matrix for this transformation is going to be 0, negative 1, 1, 0. That's cosine, negative sine, sine, cosine. Then all that's left is for us to do the matrix multiplication. We have the first row matched up with this column, which is going to produce positive 2. And then the second row matched up with this column is just going to produce positive 4. So the image after the rotation is the vector 2, 4. Since these are integers, this is a good time to just stop and sketch this out, and you can see the 90 degree rotation in action. 4, negative 2, let's see, what does that look like? 1, 2, 3, 4, down 2, so that's the vector that looks something like this. And then we're saying a 90 degree rotation about the origin is going to get us to 2, 4, which will look like 1, 2, 3, Four, something like this, the vector going up here. And indeed, that appears to be a 90 degree rotation, which we figured out just doing matrix multiplication. Next, we'll do a rotation of negative 30 degrees. So again, looking at the unit circle, either on the screen or in your memory, if you remember the unit circle, negative 30 degrees gets us here to 11 pi over 6. So cosine is root 3 over 2, and sine is negative 1 half. So filling out this standard matrix, we have root 3 over 2, and then negative sine, so in this case that's positive half, and then just sine, which is negative 1 half, and then cosine, which is root 3 over 2. So there is our standard matrix for a rotation of negative 30 degrees. Let's go ahead and do the matrix multiplication to carry out this transformation. First, this row gets matched up with this column. That's going to produce 2 root 3 minus 1. So 2 root 3 minus 1, can't simplify that at all. Then this row and this column, that's going to be negative 2 minus root 3. So negative 2 minus root 3. 
So this vector here is the image of 4 negative 2 after it is rotated at negative 30 degrees. Finally, a rotation of 135 degrees. Coming up to the unit circle once more, 135 degrees is right here at 3 pi over 4. So cosine is negative root 2 over 2, and sine is root 2 over 2. So filling in the standard matrix, we have cosine, which is negative root 2 over 2, and then we have negative sine, which will be negative root 2 over 2, and then we have sine, which is root 2 over 2, and then cosine, which is negative root 2 over 2. Once more, we just have to carry out this matrix multiplication. This row and this column, that's going to be negative 2 root 2 plus root 2. So negative 2 root 2 plus root 2. We might as well simplify that. That simplifies to just negative root 2. Then this row matched up with this column. That's going to produce 2 root 2 plus root 2. 2 root 2 plus root 2 is 3 root 2. So this is the image of this vector after a rotation of 135 degrees about the origin. So those are a few examples of carrying out rotations in R squared using matrix multiplication. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. We'll talk about rotations in R cubed later. Those are quite a bit more complicated. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need.